Hi, Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com with another in this short series of creating value in a painting. In our last video, we took this flat looking tree and gave it lots of life by adding uh, darker um, shadows on this side and highlights on this side. I have a little arrow up here to tell me where the light's coming from because sometimes I get confused and I forget. <laughs> and I'll get done and I'll go, oh, there's something wrong here. And then I'll realize my, I have light coming from too many directions. Okay, so we're going to put in some leaves on this tree. And I showed you before in the other video about values, about how you go from light to dark. And you need at every item, every object, needs at least three values. And that's the minimum, three values. We decided this tree had at least five um, values. We had uh, the center, which was um, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and dioxys and purple. And then we added more purple and ultramarine blue to put in this shadow here. And then on this side, we added, we took our center color, the burnt sienna, we added orange to that. We put that on. And then we added some yellow to that. And then we put that on. And then we added some white to that and put that on. And so then, you know, we, we created this whole little hollow thing just by using that method for uh, creating um, depth okay and value so here we are with our our palette and I have I gotta put my brush in the water first tap it off on my paper towel I'm gonna pick up some green but I just want to tell you I never use color just right out of the tube I just don't I like to see the depth so I'm adding some blue to that and we're gonna, you're going to see that why. And this is a scruffy brush. I've had this from my decorative art years. And I, I love this brush. And I love it for this particular thing, if nothing else. I use it a lot, but I love it for this. So I'm just going to pounce this paint. It's not going to be full. Okay. But I need... See how it's getting lighter as it goes up? Okay, I need that dark in the background. I can't make it have depth if it's all one color. So it needs to have darker colors in the background. Okay, so I'm, I'm adding a little bit of green and blue over here. I kind of used up everything I had. I don't mix up a ton of paint at once. Now see, I make, that one was a little, mixed a little darker, but look at the depth even just that gave to this tree. See that right there and right in there. It's much darker, which is a good thing. Got to have it. Now, I don't want to cover up everything. If I had painted a background behind this or I could drop in my sky later, um, you know, you, you don't want it one solid mass of green. Okay, so here's my green that I had. Now, I'm going to clean out that brush just enough. I'm not worried about it being, you know, sterile or anything. And, and you can see, I'm just wiping most of that off, okay? So now, I'm going to add some yellow to a part of this. I'm not going to add it to the whole mix because you really can't change a pile of paint like that. Now we need at least three values. So here's one, here's two. Now let's just come in here and lightly add this value. Now there can, it doesn't have to go exactly on top of the dark that was there. But it needs to go on top of most of the dark, okay? I mean, it can be out here like this, and that gives it a completely different look, which I love. And I don't work from le like left to right, kind of hop around the painting. That gives me, 
I'm going to put some of that light color down in here like it's just coming right off that branch. Okay. And some back in here to where it's like what's on the other side of the tree. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit more of that. Okay, I'm adding to my mix. And now I'm going to add some white to that over here on the side. I'm going to pull it off. I just want, I can't change the whole thing. I can't change this whole thing. I just need something. Okay, so here comes, the, now this is where it starts to sparkle. And, and you don't, you're not going to use nearly as much paint on this part. And you want, you don't want to cover up all that dark. You want to accentuate the dark. You need all the variations. You need all the values. I'm going to come down here and add a little more of this light to this down in here. Let that sparkle. Now you can really start to see the depth of the tree that we have created. Now you can also pick up some lime green and add some white to that and that'll give you a whole nother see how my brush is hopping around it's not finishing one little area it's it's moving around then you stand back and you look and you go, oh, so do I have one area that's really too dark? Do I need something, you know, better off in there? So you can do that. I use a scruffy brush. You can also use a, I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of brush. What matters is the value. Uh, I use, oftentimes I will use a bristle brush. Uh, this is a natural hair bristle brush. And so I could use that as well. I could come back in here and add some yellow to that uh, green highlight mix that I had over there. I'm going to add a little white. I want to tone it down just a tad. There we go. You know, when you're mixing color, you're mixing, you're mixing, you're mixing, and then all of a sudden, whoop, you get the right color. <laughs> so then I can come up in here and put a few more little highlights. The pressure is critical. You don't want to push too hard. You need to flip your brush over because you got paint on both sides. This side should be lighter than this side of the tree. This side should be darker. And I don't think I have that. So I'm going to come back in here with some more of my dark mix and I'm going to add some more shadows in the leaves in the background tone this part down so this part of the tree that leaves will be darker than this part then I can come back I'm gonna pinch wipe that out of there get rid of that and I'm gonna come back with my lightest color maybe even make it a little lighter and I want it right on this side here. To lighten up this part of the tree. Keep flipping your brush over because you've got paint on both sides. You get, what happens is people get too much and then they don't use the other side. There we go. I'm going to bring it some more down in here. I want this side to be brighter than over here. Okay? And I think we have achieved that. 
So you can use any number of brushes. I don't think that you can get this kind of effect with a synthetic flat. Um, I, I usually use a bristle, a natural bristle, uh, my scruffy brush. You can use uh, a fan brush. It's, it, it has more of a learning curve, and so it does take a little longer to get proficient at that. But I love this brush, <laughs> and it's just, and you can make one out of any cruddy brush you have. Um, I have some really rotten, um, cheap bristle brushes that I can use. That's why I never throw those brushes away that you can use to get that same kind of effect. Now, I just want to show you one other thing. This is from a class, uh, this is from something, a, a process I was working on understanding. So these were tulips, and I couldn't quite seem to get the front of the tulip to look right until I thought about values, and then I realized, okay, so this is very dark in here. This is light. If I use this same color here, it all blends together. So I had to make these front petals a shade of this, but lighter, like at least two values lighter. That's what gave it the to where it looked like you were looking inside the tulip um, and gave it that depth. So anyway, um, I hope that you're going to uh, continue to join us. Um, if you like this video, um, click the, the thumbs up button and um, subscribe to my channel. I post weekly on uh, different ways to um, use acrylic paint uh, and how to achieve things. I t try to teach a lot of art concepts. Uh, as well as how to do specific uh, things. So thank you so much for being here. Hop on over to my website, www.paintingwithacrylics101.com. There's a free class on there, a, a daisy painting class. There's also several other individual classes. And then there's the big Mama Jama full-blown art course that starts from the very beginning and takes you all the way through two full paintings. So at any rate, www.paintingwithacrylics101.com. And this is Sharon Graves saying thank you so much for being with me today, and let's paint together real soon.